hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys if you want to install the mac os on your windows laptop or pc so this video is for you i will show you step by step how you can do that so first of all need we need to have the two basic software guys the first one is the iso file which is which contains the operating system the second one is virtual box we are going to use the virtual box guys in this video so simply open the google chrome or whichever browser you use and on here you need to type here guys download mac os iso ok once you search that you need to go to the first link this is a popular link of the iso downloading and you need to scroll down look for iso image ok and download any of the file i should recommend you to download the big sur the older version should work finely in the virtual box so in my case guys i have already downloaded the iso file let me show you so ventura i have already downloaded that but you need to download the big sur or whichever you like okay these options should work in the near windows if you have the latest hardware inside your windows so you can go for the higher one if not then you can look for the lower version of the second software we need to have is virtual box virtual box download just hit this and we need to go to the uh, now we need to click on windows host and once you click on windows host the exe is going to install inside your system you just need to double click on that guys and simply run it ok so once you have run it and once the iso file is downloaded you need to bring up the virtual box simply open that up and you need to go to the new option here and name it mac in my case i'm giving the mac and the location where you want to install the mac os so if you have the enough space inside your c drive you can go ahead with the c drive but if you want to install into other drive at least 50 to 60 gb the recommended is this option ok at least 50 gb you should give to the virtual machine so i am going with the virtual box with the default directory now click on iso image and drop down click on other and select the iso which you have downloaded just hit yes option mac os x should be selected 64 should be selected i don't need to do anything right now then we need to click on next so once you click on next option guys you should give at least 4 gb of your memory but if you have the 4 gb total inside your windows so look for the 2 gb at least but 4 gb is recommended but in my laptop i have 4 gb of ram so i cannot give the 4 gb at least half you can give that i am going to give 2 gb you can give it to the at least 4 gb is recommended the cpu is 2 cpu is recommended here ok you can give to more in, in order to improve that hit next now the hard drive space so i'm going to give it 50 gb guys simply ok and hit next hit finish now once you click on finish option guys we have successfully mounted it we need to go some settings here we need to go to this option setting ok and then open the system option and base memory as you can select it here untick the option which is floppy then go to display change it to 128 ok and enable this option enable 3d acceleration this is the setting go to storage don't need go to network now enable one network card here if you want to back up the another one you can tick that but i am going with the first option at serial port 
don't need to do go to usb and 3.0 is recommended but if you don't have the option you can go with 2.0 so i have the option i'm going with the 3.0 then I need to select here the OK option. Okay, so once we have set up all the things here, we need to hit some commands here, guys. As you can see here, these are the commands for Intel. This, these are for Intel, and these are for AMD processor. So in my case, I have the Intel processor. So I'm going to give its name let's choose the name of you can see here mac is the name of my os so i need to select this go to edit click on replace okay now i have selected the mac here click on close the machine name you should give that so once you have set up the machine guys all the setting you need to close this and we need to hit some commands in that the cmd okay run as admin hit yes option now hit this command this will disable the hyper v on your system now this command is completed we have to restart your system guys so let me restart my system and then I will show you so I have restarted the system guys let me okay so let me open the notepad and we are going to hit these commands now run as admin and hit yes option MD. I will give these commands into my description box or pin it you can copy and paste like this and hit enter now all the commands are executed successfully now close this now open the virtual box now now you can start it hit yes option start option now mac os is going to boot now just wait here guys so let me give you the basic idea we are going into this directory guys and we are going to make the virtual box inside here so don't worry your data is safe here there is no loss of your data you can see here virtual box directory okay so let me You just need to keep patience here. Now select your language here. Then click on this arrow key next. now you need to format your virtual hard drive click on disk utility click on continue your c drive is not going to format guys let me clear you only these location which you have given that will be deleted okay so click on your virtual box hard drive messy disk media click on the first option you should be able to give the you should be able to see the space you have given into your mac os then click on this option erase and give the name mac or whatever you like then click on erase partition should be there that is the default partition now once this is done you need to click on this option done okay and now we need to close this and continue with install macOS hit continue okay then hit continue accept terms and condition if you are getting the option here then hit next option
now agree terms and condition then select your hard drive then click on continue so in my case guys it is going to take 30 minutes but depending on your pc hardware configuration it might take 30 to 40 minutes and less than that so you have to wait here guys until it's get completed so once it is gets completed you need to just click on next next accept terms and conditions set up your basic information there username password and all the things and you should able to run the mac os on the virtual box also in order to change the its resolution to the default guys simply open the cmd once you have installed the cmd as admin hit yes option now hit this command guys okay and after that you need to change the resolution type here you can you need to give here the virtual box name the machine name and set its resolution to your default resolution let me show you how you can choose the resolution just need to right click display resolution display setting and if you have FHD 1900 20 into 10 is my recommended but if you have 1300 something like that so you need to give that case that resolution should be that one okay inside here this one is for HD this one is for FHD and this one is for higher one okay and you can also change its RAM VRAM you can also increase it accordingly and you should able to run the mac os inside your virtual box so i hope guys this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching